So you're 28 years old. Okay. Yeah. Up there. You do OF. You make $200,000 per year, right? So you have high taste. Mm. The man that you want is less than 1% of the population and extremely rare. Mm. And you're saying yourself that you're not actively pursuing or looking for a guy. You're just going with the flow. So you, like, do you think, and here's the other funny part. Like, we didn't even account for his looks, his charm, his charisma. If he's straight. If he smells. None of that. If he's straight. He could be gay. So, like, (laughs) do you think that, like, if you meet this guy, you'll be able to attract him and keep him? I would probably try my hardest. Would you, though? You're going with the flow. I try so I honestly don't even go out, so I'm not even looking. (laughs) I'm literally just waiting for him to disappear, I guess. Your homebody? Huh? Yeah. Okay. Do you think, like, do you have anything that, like, would distinguish you from other girls that, like, he'd be attracted to? I guess the fact that I'm a homebody. Okay, so you think being a a homebody... But OnlyFans is, like, how does... Like, I don't... I guess people could do whatever they want on OnlyFans. Come on, man. Right, like, guys don't care if a girl has OnlyFans. Yeah, but I'm home, saying man. it's like, Guys what are do you not doing care on OnlyFans? If you're naked on the internet, playing with yourself, <laughs> they I don't, don't show my care. pussy at all. I'm fucking niggas. I don't show my pussy on. Oh. The- I mean, hardworking men. I mean, name some professions for me. I guess maybe lawyers and I don't know. Some truck drivers do. Okay. What else? Uh, Anybody else? Doctors. Yeah. Doctors. General doctors. contractors. Okay. Yeah. okay. So, <laughs> just out of curiosity, these are professional jobs. Do you think that, like, these jobs have, like, esteem? Like, they're respected by society? Okay. Do you think, like, a guy that, like, worked his ass off to build a name and a title for himself, right, and, like, build, like, have this esteem in society, do you think he'd want a girl that, like, does OnlyFans as his, like, main girl? I mean, if that's something that I had to just, I had to do, and it's just a stepping stone in my life. No, I did it by choice, obviously, but if it's something that does bother him or whatever, like, I... Yeah. I would stop and I would just, you know, be. Really? Oh, then it'll be all good. Like if you were like a, a, a child molester and you're like, look, that. I don't molest kids anymore. Then you're like, oh, it's, it's fine I'm, now. I'm I don't doing, care that you used I'm, to do that. I'm doing tasteful and very like classy stuff on OnlyFans. Like I know that when people think OnlyFans, they're thinking straight up porn and just like straight, like showing like their pussy and doing this. Like I'm not doing any of that. Like I'm very proud of and like metaverse. I don't regret anything that I've put out in the internet as of yet. And honestly, like. It's people are doing way worse things in the oh, world. Oh, I agree with and you. And girls are doing way worse things. People like, sure. there are girls that are poor that are literally just fucking around and being actual whores. For and, okay, let me ask you a question. Then. Like, Let's have and they don't have this. OnlyFans, but Let's but. go into a dream scenario. Let's say you meet the guy of your dreams, but you go ahead and you get with Santa and you guys do some numerology, right? <laughs> and you do a crystal ball reading and you find out that this guy that you got, he's going to be broke in 5 years, an alcoholic, get fat and get into gambling. Would you take that guy seriously and marry him, knowing the knowledge that you have of what's going to happen in the future? Am I in love with him already? You are, but you know this <laughs> truth now. But I'm already in love with him. Yeah. Yeah, but you know what's coming, and it's inevitable. Are you actually going to stick it out, knowing that he's going to lose all his money, he's going to be fat, he's no longer going to be the man that then you fell in love with? Then he would have to be okay with me doing OnlyFans. If you triggered my fans. trap card! If you knew these set of facts... Would you marry him and make that lifelong commitment to him, knowing that he's going to lose all his money and he's going to get fat and not be the guy that you fell in love with originally? Depends how much I love him. You know, it say, depends. It depends, like where we are in the relationship. I mean, if like if we're, if it's just starting and it's like not like that crazy, then no. I'm like, why am I going? To? Right. But if I'm already like invested into it and like we've been in a relationship and I love this man and like no matter what, like I'm going to be with him, then yeah. I but would, like, let's I be honest here. You have like, like you're going to have a kid. You're not working. He's working. He's a sole provider. He's responsible for your security. And you know for a fact, five years down the road, again, it's in the crystal ball, the numerology. Like <laughs> he's going to be broke, fat. No longer attractive. I don't really believe in that. And a gambling. I don't really believe in crystal ball and like numerology shit. I'm We're just saying. I'm, I'm saying that knew, to be funny because she's knew, into it. I'm just knew. saying if you knew this and it was a fact and it was happening, like if you could foresee the future and you knew this, I'm saying numerology would be funny here. But you, you get my perspective. Okay. Hypothetically, I mean, would you be with him knowing that this was in the cards? Let's like go around the table. Would, would you be with him, with ladies? Would you be with him knowing <laughs> that that future was coming? The only say, reason I'd say no is if the addicted to drugs or alcohol That's or the like point, yeah. the, the issue. Let's say gambling. Yeah, no, I don't okay. like that. What about you? If I was in love, then yeah, I would. You'd stick around? If I was in love, yes. Where's honestly. your man now? Hmm? Where's your man now? 
I don't got one now. But if I did have one, okay. and if I wasn't, what about you? Would you <laughs> stick around knowing that? Absolutely not. You wouldn't, right? Okay. What about you? No. No. Would you stick around knowing that he's gonna literally not? Yeah. Like I said, it depends how in love I am with him. Nigga, you leaving? Yeah. Okay. So here's the thing. You don't want to admit it. I get it. You don't want to come off as like bad. But the point is, is that most women I think would leave if they had this information in front of them. Because women typically get with a man for his future, right? And men typically get with a woman because of her past. Like, you wouldn't get with a guy knowing that he's a loser in the future. We just don't want to get with a girl that was a loser in her past. That's just how it is with us. We're very different than you guys. You guys are interested in the future. We're interested in the past. So all of you that said, no, I wouldn't because I know what's coming, we would say, no, we wouldn't because we know what's happened. Okay. So... For what I was saying earlier, sure. when you're on OnlyFans, for example, like I am, I'm yeah. not out here fucking around. I'm not sure. fucking other people. Then you get a girl that she's going to lie to you and say whatever her past was, but she doesn't have an OnlyFans. She hasn't done it, but she has. Been let's go. Let's been. assume that you're just that cooking on like, OnlyFans and you're fully clothed. Let's say you're Martha Stewart in that bitch. You're just whipping up food. You <laughs> hang out <laughs> with celeb rappers every now and then and cook food and nothing else, right? Uh, let's assume you're, you're, you're doing that. And you didn't go to jail for perjury, unlike Martha Stewart. And you're clean. <laughs> You do realize the image itself is what's the problem. Optics is everything. For example, let's say you're at the club. And some guy comes up to you, it's, it's, right? It's, 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 He's kind of okay, but he has like baggy jean shorts, a big white tee like it's 2005, and he has like a tick when he talks to you. And Tim's. Oh, you, my God. You're so hot. Right. You're from Colombia? And Tim's. <laughs> but he's like, you know, he's kind of a nice, like, would you give him a chance? It depends. Come on now. <laughs> Would you ask you to like, give this guy a chance? He's ticking and he has jean shorts on that are baggy past his knees. I'll like... probably give him a conversation. <laughs> and yeah. Tim's. Yeah, but would you actually take him seriously and take, give him your number and court him and go on a date? I mean, or if it's just you? a tick and we can have a conversation, like it's just a tick. People stutter and people have. Yeah, like, yeah, but would you, know? you go on a date with this guy? You're actually... lying, sure. Yeah. You yeah. gotta quit fucking lying. Yeah. Like, yeah. God damn, yeah, so you're, you're lying. lying. And this is why you're single. <laughs> are, you picky, are you like a picky girl with men? With men? Yeah. For me to date and to like fuck? Yes. Okay, so you want to give him a chance. Good job. Gotcha. Oh, that's not, but that's not what I asked. Handed. I said, like, would you actually go on a date and let him seriously court you? And you're no. saying, like, hey, talk to yeah, him. Yeah, you no. get free attention. Okay, so you judge the book by its cover, right? You've judged the book by its cover, but you don't know that that guy's really wealthy. He could be charming on Tuesdays. He's really <laughs> funny and shit like that, but you judge the book by its cover. Damn, you're not really my look. You got this bag of jeans on. It's not 2005. I'm good. You write him off. That's how we are, too. Mm -hmm. The difference we all is. Judge. Yeah, we all do judge. But here's the difference between men and women. When we judge you guys, you don't know that we're judging you. We find out, oh, wait, she does OnlyFans? Oh, she does this? Slut. She been to Dubai? Slut. In our mind, Slut. we're like, oh, Slut. okay. Oh. But we're not going to tell you that, right? Because we're just, we still want to have sex. But with you guys, you have to reject us openly. Oh, I'm sorry. Like, I don't see you like that. But we could be friends. In the sex zone, you guys put us in a friend zone. Same shit. Oh, see, shit. Here's the so, issue. So OnlyFans... Is the same nigga. You being on OnlyFans is that dude at the club with the jean shorts and the... See? <laughs> Here's the issue, right? Does that make sense? I mean, whatever, but it I don't... Can. It whatever. can. It can cannot make bitch. sense in her head. And the reason that they stick to this I don't judge is because they don't want to be judged. judged yeah. But in reality, they do judge. Women are the biggest Everybody judges. Everybody does. Absolutely, oh, no, they we judge. judge. Yeah. So, but they will not allow you to look at so the... Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop, stop real quick. You just said you're, you're picky, right? Yeah, with men that, I, that I'm going to fuck. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Let me, let me say this really slow. You do understand by you being picky, by definition, you're judgmental. Okay. So you are, you are judgmental. We all are. So why'd you try to deny it a second ago? I didn't try to deny the fact that I was... He said, because all I'm doing I is like, I'm taking what you're saying and I'm like putting it against logic and it doesn't make sense. You're saying, I'm not judgmental. And I'm like, well, that's not true because you said you're picky. If you're a picky woman, by definition, you're judgmental. Okay. So I'm judgmental. Yeah, cool. Not wrong with that. We all are. <laughs> like, but I just love it when girls try to virtue signal saying, I'm not picky. He said it and you looked at him like, I didn't I'm say not. I'm not picky. I said I'm picky. You asked me if I was picky. I no, said, no, yes. you're not judgmental. You try okay. to say you're not judgmental, but it's the same okay. thing. Oh, so. no, no. I mean, there's nothing you could actually say to yeah. uh, a woman like this. Yeah, see, the like, problem with this is that, like, when you do OnlyFans and you find a man, you say you're going to stop doing OnlyFans, you know why she's going to stop? Why? Because you're taking care of her. Once that's done and you go broke by some chance, guess what she's about to do? <laughs> Only times again. So did she start for you or because of the money and security? Ooh. So honestly speaking, at that point, it's a, it's a dead end. However, we have some chats here and the girls have been waiting for a while. So let's, let's, let's do some chats. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Let's do some chats. Uh, Wait, yeah. did any of you ladies have anything before you go to these chats? Like, any, any, anyone else want to get their dreams crushed with, with this thing? I do. Uh, the calculator? I want to do it. 
Okay. Oh, oh I want that. us to do that. Bro, all right, you? sure. Come on. Uh, okay. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. You're, you're fucking doomed, man. Yeah, bro, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, God. Like, God. You're done for it. Oh, you're God. done for it. Like, you, you've been in Africa too long, man. Bro, that's that's bro. a thick brain. Yeah, it's like, it's a thick brain. <laughs> and you have no crazy. hair, bro. That's that thick brain, nigga. This man ruthless. Yo, what the fuck, man, man? She knows she's a hoe, man. Come on, man. Damn, man. She, hey, she, she's laughing, though, right? Wait. <laughs> all right. Yeah, Ladies, all I'm simply saying is, is that like, if you have a certain background, like if you have a certain past, like, More chill, man. you you don't qualify for certain types of dudes. Like I'm, uh, uh, how about this? I'll do you one better. Okay. Are you okay with being like a side chick or a part of like now we're a talking second or third girl? Talking. Yeah. No. Are you this kidding? is side no. piece no. This is good you, side piece material, right? This why prime are you so side disrespectful? Piece. I'm not why disrespectful. Why are you disrespectful? You don't know me. You're, you're coming off because I have OnlyFans and I'm on this yeah, podcast. Course, you're so course, disrespectful. I wasn't even going to say side no, no, piece. I was going to say. Like, how do you, like, no, know? No, let me clarify. See, that you think I'm disrespectful. I'm just treating you according to the respect level that you deserve. And here's Everyone the issue. Just... Because people have been pretending in the society... Like, that's why you're shocked right now. Like, for example, when you said you have tasteful OnlyFans, is there, can there be a such thing as a tasteful OnlyFans? Like, I can show it to my mom, Mom, no, look, her OnlyFans is tasteful. My mom's like, you know what, son, you're right. That's not going to embarrass us. There's athletes on OnlyFans that don't do anything sexual. Now, here's what you're doing. Uh, you're saying, okay, I'm going to take the outlier and uh -huh. use that as an example to redeem myself instead of just acknowledging what I'm doing is looked upon poorly. Only because you just said that there's no way to have a tasteful OnlyFans. So I'm just letting you know that it's possible. That's Being all. that you're an intelligent woman, I know you're savvy. Do you understand my point? I do get your okay, point. Okay, so you do understand <laughs> the am. point, right? I do. Fantastic. Oh, what, I love, shit. Listen, what I like is Good a job. bona fide gotcha, street bitch. stroller. I like to meet a hoe who says, you know what? I'm a hoe. Yes. I, I'm, a, I'm a prostitute. I walk the blood. I sell my body and this is what it is. Yeah. I had the good fortune. I was just recently in South Africa in Durban and you said something earlier that disgusted me to be honest with you. You said this is just what I had to do. You live in America. I go to so many countries and people would kill to get here and they do what they actually have to do. In South Africa, it's the country with the highest unemployment on the planet Earth. I talked to a woman who's my mother's age who tried to solicit me for prostitution and I respected the fact that she wanted to work for her money and earn her money. So I said, hey, I'm a podcaster. I'll pay you for a day's work. Let me interview you. I want to hear your story. I talked to a woman who actually has to do this in a country with the highest unemployment in the world. And you know what she said in her interview? She said, if I could go to America and wash dishes, I would go there and do that happily and send money back to my family. You see the difference between you and women there who are doing the same job of prostitution? They do prostitution in some cases because they need jobs. You do prostitution because you need God. You're lost. Oh, shit. God mm -hmm. damn. Oh, <laughs> Down the Monko. Um. Yeah, I mean, ladies, with all due respect, saying my OnlyFans is tasteful is like saying I'm a smart retard. It, it just doesn't. It, because the the OnlyFans in itself defeats the ability for it to be tasteful. You know what I mean? That's like saying I'm a classy pedophile. Right. It doesn't make sense, right. unfortunately. It doesn't. It, the, the two are just co so completely polar opposite that to combine the two is an asinine concept. Like, and I get it. Like, <laughs> hey, like, I can be or I can make my OnlyFans tasteful, but the image in itself, when you say I do OnlyFans, people are going to judge a book by its cover, just like me being at the club and ticking like this when I talk to you and shake my hand. Like, give me a chance. You're probably not. If you're an attractive woman and you have athletes hitting you up and high-value men, are you going to give some random guy at a club that's wearing baggy shorts and a white T-shirt a chance? No, you're going to judge a book by its cover. Rightfully so. That's the world we live in. You're going to deny me, as I deserve to be denied for dressing like an idiot. But women need to understand that men also reserve the right to judge a book by its cover. We just do it covertly. We just don't tell you that we still date you, talk to you, etc. We just put you in the sex zone. Just like you meet a guy that you don't like, I'm going to put him in the friend zone. I'm going to get his attention and talk to him. <laughs> but the reality is that that person will never escape that zone. That's just what it is. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I don't know. It's just crazy stuff. We're, we're going to read chats. Did anyone else have anything? I, I want to make sure I get all the ladies' thoughts.